Now let us discuss about octal to any other base conversion. Octal means base value is 8. So an octal number mainly contains 8 symbols from 0 to 7. Uh, so in this video we are going to discuss about how we are going to convert an octal number to binary number. So binary means base value is 2. A binary number mainly contains 2 symbols such as 0 and 1. Next octal to decimal number. So decimal number means base value is 10. A decimal number mainly contains 10 symbols from 0 to 9. Next to hexadecimal, octal to hexadecimal. Hexadecimal number mainly contains 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So mainly we have four types of number systems are there. Octal number system, binary number system, decimal number system and hexadecimal number system. So now let us see the first one that is octal to binary conversion. So two examples are given, two octal numbers are given. So now we have to convert these two octal numbers into the binary numbers. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, uh, let us see the uh, table here. So octal means mainly we will have uh, eight symbols from zero to seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, next, each octal digit represents uh, three bits. So this is nothing but uh, binary notation for the octal number. So here in octal means we use a sum. 4 to 1 notation. So 1 means 2 power 0, 2 means 2 power 1, so 4 means 2 square. So 0 means there is no need of 4 to 1. So 0 means all zeros. So 1 means we require 1. So we need to place 1 in 1 position, remaining position zeros. 2 means we need to place 1 in 2 position. We need to place 1 in 2 position, so remaining position 0. So 3 means sum of 2 and 1. So we need to place 1 in 2 and 1 position, 0 in 4th position uh, because there is no need of uh, 4 here. 4 means we need to place 1 in 4 position, so remaining position zeros. 5 means sum of 4 and 1, so we need to place 1 in 4 and 1 position, 2 position 0. 6 means sum of 4 and 2, so we need to place 1 in 4 and 2 position. 0 and 1 position. 7 means sum of 4 to 1. Let us see the first two problem. 57 base 8. 57 base 8. So we have to convert this octal number into the binary number. So 5 means 101. So 5 means 101. So 101. Next to 7 means how we can represent 7 in binary notation. All ones. All ones. So 101 triple 1 base 2. So this is the equivalent binary number for this uh, octal number. Now let us solve the second example. 72.45 base 8. Okay. So 7 means triple 1. 7 means triple 1. Next to 2 means 2 means 0 1 0. 0 1 0. 4 means 1 double 0. So 5 in binary notation is 1 0 1 base 2. So this is the binding number for this octal number. So triple 1, triple 1. So what is the number? Triple 1, 0, 1, 0, dot, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the binding number for this octal number. So in this way, we can convert an octal number into the binding number. So now let us see about how to convert octal number to decimal number. So here the source number system is octal. Various destination number system is decimal number system. If the destination is decimal number system, then simply we have to multiply the source number system. Okay. Here, what is the source number system? Octal number system. So we have to start from the LSP. Uh, we need to take 8 power 0, 8 power 1, 8 power 2, do the multiplications and uh, add the corresponding terms. So let us solve the first problem 127 base 8. So here the destination system is decimal system. So simply we need to perform the multiplication. Here what is the source number system octal? Octal means 8. So with the help of 8 we, we need to do the multiplications. 
here we have to start from the least significant bit and we need to proceed towards the most significant bit. So on top of 7 we need to write 8 power 0, on top of 2 we need to write 8 power 1, on top of 1 8 power 2. So simply multiply the terms and uh, add the corresponding result 8 power 2 into 1 plus 8 power 1 into 2 plus 8 power 0 into 7. So 8 power 2 into 1 means 8 power 2 means 64, 64 into 1 means 64, 8 power 1 means 8. 8 into 2 means 16. Anything power 0 is equal to 1. 1 into 7 means 7. So 64 plus 16 means 80. 80 plus 7 means 87. So 87 base 10. So this is the decimal number for this problem. 87 base 10. Now let us solve the second example. In the second example is a fractional number. Some floating point number. So we need to write after the dot, we need to write 8 power minus 1, 8 power minus 2 likewise. So let us see the problem, 26 dot 24. So this is uh, here, this 6 is nothing but least significant bit on top of 6, we have to write 8 power 0, on top of 2, we need to write 8 power 1. Next after the dot, we have to write as 8 power minus 1, next on top of 4, 8 power minus 2, likewise we have to write 8 power minus 3, 8 power minus 4, depends upon the digits. So let us do the multiplication and summation, 8 power 1 into 2 plus 8 power 0 into 6 plus 8 power minus 1 into 2 plus 8 power minus 2 into 4. So 8 power 1 into 2 means 16, 8 power 0 means 1, 1 into 6 means 6, 8 power minus m can be written as 1 by a power m. So 1 by 8 power 1 means 1 by 8 into 2. So that is nothing but 2 fourths. Next 8 power minus 2 can be written as 1 by 64, 1 by 8 square into 4. So 4 16s are 64. So 16 plus 6 means 22 plus 1 by 4 means 0 0.25. 1 by 16 means 0 0.0625. So let us add the terms 22 plus uh, 0 0.25 means 22.25 next 0 0.0625 so 5 2 6 5 are 11 so the result is 22 point the result is 22 point yeah let us add one more time so 16 16 plus 6 22 so 22 plus 22 plus 0 0.25 means 22.25 next 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 so 22 point so 5 2 6 5 is 11 2 plus 1 3 so 22 point 22 point 3125 22 point 3125 1 into 6 means yeah. So 22.3125 is the result. So in this way we can convert octal number into the decimal number. Now let us uh, see the third one that is octal to hexadecimal conversion. Octal to hexadecimal conversion. So let us see the problem 1267.34. So this is the octal number. So we need to convert this octal number into the hexadecimal number. Okay. First we have to represent octal number in binary notation. So we know how to represent octal number in binary notation. Each digit represents 3 bits. So 1 means 0, 0, 001, 1 means 0, 0, 001, 2 means 0, 010, 0, 0, 0, 6 means 110, 7 means all ones. 3 means 0, 1, 1. So 4 means 1, 0, 0. Next we have to convert this uh, number, this binary number into the hexadecimal number. In hexadecimal notation, each digit represents 4 bits. So here we use as hexadecimal means, we use as 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. So 0 means all zeros. 8, 4, 2, 1 notation. 0 means all zeros. So 1 means 0001. So 2 means 0010. 5 means we have to add 4 and 4. 
So remaining 0. 6 means sum of 4 and 2. 7 means sum of 4, 2, 1. Likewise. Likewise, uh, we can represent from uh, 0 to 9 and uh, A means 10. So 10 means A, 11 means B, 12 means C, 13 means D, E means 14, F means 15. So how to represent 15? 15 means sum of 8, 4, 2, 1, all ones. Okay. How to represent 12? 12 means sum of 8 and 4. 8 and 4. So in this way we can represent so let us convert here. Uh, here uh, for the integer part, what we have to do is we have to consider from the uh, rightmost bit to the leftmost bit. So we have to go in this direction. Whereas for the fractional part, we have to start from the left and move towards the right. Here uh, each hexadecimal digit, each hexadecimal digit represents 4 bits. So here we have to group 4 bits. So 0, 3, 1, these 4 bits will constitute one group, 1011 constitute one group, 0010 constitute one group, 0311 constitute one group. Next we have only two bits, but in a hexadecimal notation each digit represents four bits. So we need to append two more zeros. Why? Because if we append two more zeros, the result won't change. Okay. 0010 in hexadecimal notation is 2. 0010 means 2. Next. 1 0 triple 1 means 8 plus 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 11. So 11 means B. B. 0 triple 1 means 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 7 dot. 0 triple 1 means 7. So this is nothing but 0. So this is nothing but hexadecimal number 2B7 dot 2B7 dot 7. So this is the result. So in this way we can convert in octal number to hexadecimal number. So this is about converting octal to any other base system.